Hey. Ah. Reviews. Back up in here, yo. For the hunts. The hunts. How does it end? How does it end? And spoilers. How we spoiling out in? That boy down, boy, him and that Mississippi accent and them other people and the guy from Orlando and the other guy from New York. Now it ends? Snatch people up from all over America. She gets on a plane and flies away with caviar and champagne. And drinks that bottle of champagne from the ocean that's from 1907. Yeah. Bam. Which they referenced in the very beginning of the film. Exactly. Uh... So she basically kills. Well, who is well Snowball? The, their snow was it Snowball? They called her Snowball. Snowball, which is a reference to the name of the pig in Animal House. Yeah. Uh, I actually have never read that book, um, just because I already know that it's a large work of political blah blah blah. In my opinion, <laughs> so I'm like, eh, I don't really want to read that. It's not my thing. But it's the basis of a lot of films and references and whatnot, what have you. Anyways, uh, so basically, our main character, her name is Crystal. Crystal. Crystal May something. I forget it. Dang it. I think it's just Crystal, but they say her last. But they, name. they say her full name in the in the uh, in the movie. Uh, but they just basically call her Crystal. Um, anywho, basically, this film is a really bad case of mistaken identity gone wrong for some yeah. political elitists that for whatever reason are blaming people that like found out about their joke yeah so basically it says a running thing online about this this manner that basically a bunch of like elite people go and just basically hunt lower class other people and it only Who's... came out like that because one of them uh somehow i guess got hacked, hacked. and then his text messages got leaked and there's yeah. a thread where they made a joke. Joke. I made a joke about it. That they're gonna go hunt uh, yeah. deplorables. And so everyone basically thought, okay, it's real. So they all basically lose their jobs, or get transferred, or get done something well. They have to step down because they think, oh, you guys really hunt people for sport. And they said, basically, whether or not it's real or not, people are talking about it, and we can't handle all this, you know, yeah. blah blah blah. So what they decide to do is, is actually hunt people. people for sport for revenge. For basically talking about people hunting people for sport. <laughs> so basically anybody that accused them of basically hunting people for sport, they basically put them on a list and picked people out. Basically and they, and they, they said there's thousands, but they wanted the most vocal yes. people about this. So um, our main character, Crystal, yeah. is technically not the same Crystal they made the post that was talking about the powerful villain of the film, Athena. Yeah. Um, her last name is spelled off a little differently, and she said she gets her mail sometimes. Yeah, I think the May or I forget the part of her name, but there's like an E where it should be an I or something like that. I forget. Yeah. Um, and basically, that's how she ends up because she was a actual soldier. Yeah. Uh, did tour in Afghanistan, and they thought that she was just some chick that worked at a uh, car rental place with no experience in yeah. anything at all whatsoever. And you know right off the bat, because she's literally making a homemade compass, like MacGyver style, yeah. with a freaking... You first see her, she just pulls out the little name tag, rips it off, makes a compass, bam, okay, that's the direction I need to be going. Yeah, she takes the uh, pin from the back of her name tag, gets some static electricity, puts it on a leaf in the water, and as it floats, she's like, that's true north. Bam, I'm going here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it's pretty wild, um, but basically after that, right, she has a big showdown scene. I mean, she's killed almost. I think she is the one that kills she killed pretty all much the bad guys, all, right? All of them, yeah. Yeah, all, all of them, pretty much. She kills them all. Um, yeah, she killed everybody because I don't think anybody else got to actually kill anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. So she kills all of the elitist, um, and then has a big throwdown knockout fight uh, with Athena, which is pretty good actually. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it. I liked it. The only part that I did have an issue with was how they end it, where Athena stabs her with the food processor uh, blade, right. and it's like stuck in her, and the way she kills Athena is by hugging her, yeah. and then it stabs her, and then she rolls it into her, right. and somehow it transfers from being stuck in her to stomach to being stuck in the center of her stomach. Yeah. And somehow it being in the center of her stomach 
is more of a critical blow than, her being, on than the side. being on the side, which she was already cut this way from a knife. Yeah. Well, yeah, she was already like stabbed or yeah. So I guess we're gonna chalk that up to the fact that she's a soldier. So she's amazing at being I mean, injured. On the side, I mean, it's not really a whole lot of vital organs too much. You can, and as long as you don't bleed out, that's why she cauterized it. I don't know. Anyways, that was the only part I had an issue with. Uh, aside from that, it was dope. Everything else, I liked it. Uh, I like the fact that uh, <laughs> the way that they're like just going at it, yeah. hand to hand, getting tossed, and then the scene where she's like about to bash her through the uh, the glass door. She's, she's like, like no more glass. Open the door, and she <laughs> literally pauses and waits, like, oh yeah, 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 no more glass. Yeah, and then throws it through the door. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that part is pretty interesting. And then at the end, where she actually does end up killing her, and she's like. About to eat this grilled cheese. Oh, no, no. And she was telling her, like, hey, but really tell me, are you the real one that I was supposed to kill, or is it really a mistake? And she was like, yeah, you messed up. <laughs> you got the wrong person. You got the wrong one. That's why he about to die. Yeah. So that was that was interesting. That was a cool reveal. Uh, that made the whole thing make sense, because as you're watching this, you're like, what's up with this girl, man? Like, did they just happen to, like, go after some chick that they didn't know was a soldier? And then they divulged that... They legit picked the wrong one. Yeah. And she even says, oh, sometimes I get the other girl's mail, but we're not the same woman. Yeah. So, yeah. So that, yeah. Was, that was pretty cool. Because what you see here with the, you know, the trailer is just how they all wake up and they go to this field and there's all these weapons and guns. And you're like, oh, okay, what's going to happen? They're trying to figure out. And then it starts happening. They start shooting. I do like the fact where they got like, because mm -hmm. they all have the gags yeah. and they're like, no, nah, it's a trap. Don't open it. Yeah. And it's not a trap. trap. Kind of. It kind of is, because they're basically spot out there waiting to snipe them and take them out. As soon as they start grabbing guns, they basically take their muzzle off. And then they have the one girl in the yoga pants like, look, that almost hit me. Boom! And then the back of her head is just gone. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, so it's, it's very violent. You got a couple girls, the one girl that dies by the spikes. Oh, man. When she's like running, she's like, ah, ah, ah. And you see her fall. You hear, you hear like a sound like, oh. Is she tripping? Is she just get impaled? I think I heard her get impaled. And another dude's like running over there and he's like, oh, yeah. and she's like, has like a spike, a spike going through her gut and, and then working her leg. leg. <laughs> and he's like, it's okay. And she's like, like, it's birthday, birthday tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm going gonna, gonna to eat pie. pie. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah, here my hand. Just lift up. And then he basically lifts her up. And like when he tells her, he's like, say happy birthday <laughs> with me. <laughs> And they get her out and they look wrong and else he just steps on a mine and he's like, ah. Oh. He's like, mm. and it blows up and you see her leg go flying. And you're just like, ah, oh, they got jacked up. And you then run back over and she's back on the spikes. <laughs> Missing her whole lower half. half. And he's like, come on, leave him out. And she's like, just kill me. <laughs> give me your gun. <laughs> and she's like, give me your gun, you snowflake. And then she like just shoots herself. Yeah. Uh, and then that guy that's from New York runs away. Uh, man, it, it, it's a lot of action, uh, and there are some slow moments, yeah. however, I feel that they are necessary to move the story along, like, in a good way, like, yeah. it, it's slow, and until they like, kind of have the reach that they have, because they have the part that they, they go to the gas station, and they're like, oh, we're trying to be safe, and they go to the gas station, and realize, like, there's two people, they're like, oh, don't hurt us, don't hurt us, and they're like, oh, we're just trying to find out where we're at, oh, we're in Arkansas, they think they're in Arkansas, so they go through, and come to find out, like, the food's poisoned, yep. they got gas, they basically have, like, a shotgun, and just basically kill everybody. I like the part where the old guy is, like, drinking that, uh, that drink, and then she's like, don't drink that, that's poison. poison. And he's like, <laughs> you poison the drinks, too? She's like, no, that has 43 grams of sugar in it. <laughs> I'm just looking out for you. <laughs> she's like, and if it's a crime, because I, I care about your, your health and well-being, then I'm guilty. And he's like, oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, you can just so, see like the, the scope they have and where they're at. And you kind of don't know where they're technically located. So it kind of says, oh, they're in Arkansas. But then you come to find out that like this international, we see like she pulls off the license plate yep. from the truck. They try to figure out, okay, well, they're somewhere in national. They're trying to figure it out. They like get out from like the, uh, on, the on the train. They sneak oh, out. Yeah. They had a guy planted on the train. So they have a guy planted on the train to basically with, with even, the actual immigrants. The actual immigrants to basically corral them and get to a certain location. Just in case. Just in case. Like they have all these 
you know, things based and planned out. And even if you get to the, you know, to the to one of the local law enforcement's guy posed as for the American Embassy to bring them back. Yep. Oh, also, I like the part where uh, she like kills them, goes for the cigarette still, and it's just an empty. It's an empty box. Box. It's not actually. Yeah, because they basically she buys her cigarettes for emergency cash, and then she looks at the the chains, and she's like. And it basically takes him out. And the girl's like, no, no. <laughs> it's like in Arkansas, so, cigarettes cost six dollars and seven cents. <laughs> and she yeah. gave her a twenty, so she's like, you gave me back too much change. Yeah. I am in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, how did you know that they were lying? Everybody lies. Yeah. So. Because even he was talking, and he kept wanting to know, like, oh, why yeah. did you do? That what was did you do? He's like, oh, uh, you guys have any idea why they might have singled you out? Yeah. And you can see her. She's like. Yeah, she grabs the thing and then like brings her legs she up. Grabs the thing outside like, the car and like he keeps talking. He's like, "Yeah, but I mean, there has to be a reason why they chose you." And she's like, "Yeah!" And she like <laughs> kicks him out the door. That dude's like, "What? Are you, what the hell? What are you doing? That's the UN guy." Yeah, like, and what she are you like doing? backs up. She's like, mm-hmm. "Like, get me out of here!" Falls <laughs> right over his head. And then, uh, and then yeah, you see, you find that you find uh, the dude in the trunk with the knife in his head. Oh, Gary. <laughs> Gary, and she's like, and he's like, oh. Okay, maybe I need to trust her. Yeah. It's just like me and you. And then she tells him the that story between the, the tortoise and the hare. But what she the says f- the hare and the box turtle. Yeah, the box turtle. And there's way more violence. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like the normal tortoise and the hare, and then, you know, the hare wins, and he goes home with his family, and you're like, oh, okay. But in this version, uh, like, apparently the hare is a huge show off and, like, boasts to everybody about how dope he is, and he just goes around racing people, like, just knowing that he's going to win so he can, like, you know, ego boost himself all the time but in this version he oversleeps and like oh no i run he's gonna run he runs as fast as he can yeah, like the normal doesn't story, win. Yeah, it doesn't and win. then the turtle goes home and is like yo i beat the hair and he's telling his kids the story and then his door busts in because it's the hair with the hammer. hammer and he kills all he kills the, the kid and the wife first just so the, the hair kid the, the tortoise can see them die first and then he kills them and eats their food every bite just because and the moral of that story he was is, like, who told that as a kid? <laughs> the hair always wins. The hair always wins. No matter what. No matter what. Even if he loses. Even if he loses. Because you're a hair. You're a hair. Not a turtle. <laughs> Be a hair, not a turtle. Be a hair, not a turtle. <laughs> and it comes full circle because after the fight, when she basically kills her, she looks over, and the door's open. It's like a see, rabbit. And yeah, there's basically the hair right there, and she's like, Really? <laughs> Which is funny because like I feel like that's her motivator to get up and like yeah. cauterize the wound because she's just like laying like oh, yeah, she's basically about oh, to give up and die and like the air comes oh. in the door and she's like oh yeah, yeah she's like let let me let me finish this off yeah and then like when she gets on the plane and she's like she's like hello and they're like oh. she's like I just killed all your your employer and the rest of them so I would like to go home now like, Do you have a problem with that. And they're like, no, nope. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, she's like, we have to eat caviar. Oh, okay, cool. You ever had caviar? She's like, no. Why are you doing this? She's like, I'm gonna, I can eat it. She's like, I don't see why you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody here. <laughs> All your people is dead. But yeah, everybody. Just, like the where the whole motivation they had originally is just going after the people that exposed them, which is, and they sat there and planned it. And you're sitting there going, okay, why? Well, that's like the weirdest way to do it too. It's just like you can't just come up with. Okay, we're pissed. And they like, no, we should go kill all the people that talked about it. Like, I will say this. Like, out of all the films that people have put out in, in recent months and years about, like, the politics of America, and then, I didn't mind this one at all. And it made it to that everybody politically was all, like, liberal. So it was, like, super liberal. Like, oh, did you get that girl pregnant? Was she poor choice? Like, everything, <laughs> like everything it was just like, like oh. don't make fun of pro choice. Yeah, don't make fun of pro <laughs> choice. Like, yeah, the game, oh, what was his character's name? Oh, I was in, no, I wasn't Don. Uh, I forget the guy's name. He's like, oh, did they ask for your semen too? Was that going to cure AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, I guarantee you, he probably says the N word in front of black people. Oh, yeah. He's like, I don't think you can, they're African Americans, you can't say black. No, black people it's, say that it's black. It's okay. Who says that? NPR. Who's NPR? <laughs> like, they're mainly like white, white people. people. We're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> now, that part is pretty good. And then I also like uh, the other part of the satire where, like, 
the chick that she stabs with the the arrow yeah. is and he's like no wait don't don't kill her yeah. you can't kill her she's a woman and she's like ma'am do you feel that i should show you mercy simply because she's you are a female and she's like looks at him no bow <laughs> <laughs> like no hesitation and then the, the dude's like what the <laughs> and he's like you heard her she didn't want any mercy <laughs> I was like, damn. And like, she's going at it. Like, when she comes down in their little bunker, yeah. where they think they're all safe. Yeah. Oh, by the way, dude who is peeing, I think he, he's the one that gets the worst in my personal opinion. Because he's like, take, puts his little headlight on, he's like, roughing it. Pff, you ain't even rough a day in your life. Huh, talk to me about roughing it. And he's like, starts peeing on a tree. And then uh, he's like, somebody lose a pig? <laughs> and then he's <laughs> like, <laughs> what? And then she's just like, Slices and through. he's like, oh, I was urinating. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, all, that's all she wrote from that guy. Um, which was pretty crazy. And then the when she's like, oh, the pig. Freaking Orville. Yeah, they dropped the pig inside. And they all freak out and shoot the pig. The pig was innocent. <laughs> you killed an innocent. <laughs> that part was pretty wild. I was like, I was with her too. I was like, no. Orville, <laughs> you killed the pig. Like, you see it's a pig. It came sliding down yeah, the side. And they just and kept like, firing. They just like, kept shooting at it like it was a bomb or something. Like, they you know it's a pig. Like they're, they're so freaked out and they're so, like, inexperienced. Like, inexperienced yeah. and it's on the edge. They just, like, anything that moved. Because she was firing, too. Yeah, she did. <laughs> but she kind of stopped, like, after she, re- she realized it first. She's like, oh, it's a pig. And everyone else is like, <laughs> like something's moving. Yeah. Something he was like, you almost shot me. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Bunch of inexperienced guys with, with weapons that like the one guy has like a shiny pistol, yeah, like with the with the, like gold plating. <laughs> yeah, they're just doing all kinds. Of uh, stuff. And then when he freaks out, right? When he was like, oh, what is it? What's the the consultant's name? Is it Don? Maybe it's Don. I don't know. But like, uh, he uh, <laughs> remember when he's like trying to sit back and he bumps the the. Um, the uh, sniper rifle yeah. behind him. He's like, oh! And everyone's like, oh! You almost shot me! <laughs> <laughs> and then he tells him, he's like, he's like, wait a minute. Didn't you do some, like, consulting on... He's like, what's the name of that movie? Tears of the Sun. I was like, with Bruce Willis. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Bruce? I love him. <laughs> yeah, and then, like, later on, he's like, yeah, Bruce Willis. I'm like, I love Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah, and then she basically, like, basically it goes off on him and gets ready to kill him. He's like, so, so where'd, you, where'd you serve? Coast Guard. She's like... He was like, I was like, well, it feels like a minute now. Oh, thank you for your service. Bow! <laughs> Kills him, too. Yeah. I mean, because technically, he tried to kill her, too. Yeah. So, she, they even asked her, too. They're like, uh, oh, don't you want to know why they're killing you? She's like, no. All I need to know is if they're trying to kill me. <laughs> all that matters. She's like, and then, like, later on, she's like, do you know who I am? No, I don't know who you <laughs> are. And she's like, let me tell you who you are. And she pulls out this whole thing, and she's like reading it, and she's like, mm, that's not me. It's not me. And my father's alive. And my mom's alive. You want to call her? You want to call her? <laughs> what do you think? I'm effing stupid? No, I'm not going to call your mom. <laughs> like, I mean, she said throughout the whole film that she thinks that you guys are probably pretty stupid. Yeah. That you're either pretending to be stupid, or you're smart pretending to be dumb. She wasn't sure, yeah. but it more or less confirmed that you guys are more or less Stupid, yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty good overall. I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, could they do a sequel? I mean, probably. There's some other people that want to do. I mean, it's kind of like those like purges where you just kind of like. It kind of reminds me of the ending of uh, Escape Room. Yeah. Right, like where they get away and maybe there's more people. There's maybe more people doing hunts because mm-hmm. I mean. There has to be a reason why people thought the one that existed anyway, so there might yep. be other ones that are going on. Yeah. So, so there I might mean, be rumors. Not necessarily that. she has to go stop them, but they, they literally could just do another one of these ones just because, I mean, there's multiple reasons why some rich people want to go hunt people that just because they can. Just because they got the money to do. Yeah. So, pretty wild. I enjoyed it. I think it's a good one. Obviously not for the whole family, but if you like, if you like things kind of like The Purge, I would say yeah it's kind of more kind of purges in terms of like just you know on action and just mm-hmm. a weird situation that's probably close to it but it's still a different type of story yeah so obviously we had a lot more to say about this one than the last one because yeah. it was more interesting yes it enjoyed it oh and then you had the guy from uh in the store that they get gas yeah right 
that was pretty interesting. And then when she eats the powdered donut and yeah. it's poison, and then she, he's like, hit the vents. <laughs> and then she's like, Zzzz. and she, like uh, the old wife that's in there, she's like, damn it, now I'm gonna have to clean that up. Yeah. And like, he's like, get me a mop. And then later on, he's mopping while she's dragging the heavy ass dead bodies yeah. to the back. And I was like, man, yo, <laughs> it's like, his wife teamwork, yo, it's teamwork. Yeah. So that was pretty crazy. Or the fact like when the drone comes in yeah. and like he shoots the drone down, uh, Gary, and then she's like, uh, now they know that we're here. Yeah. yeah. So, and then she sees the uh, explosive rigged on the door to the, uh, the mm -hmm. truck. I thought that was cool. She's like, he's, hey. he's, like, she's, he's like, how do I know? Cause she's like, I'm a friendly. And he's like, how do I know? He's like, well, go ahead and, and uh, pull the, the truck door. And he's like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, if you pull that, You'd be gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. About that time. Anything else? Uh, that's about it. We pretty much covered it thoroughly in this movie, so. Oh, yeah. Really well. Yes. So, like, comment, subscribe. Share it to everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Appreciate all the uh, commenters, the new subscribers. Love y'all. Don't forget, ARV merch is coming out soon. In the comments, let us know if you want anything specific. Like, we're always going to do t-shirts and hoodies. Let us know if you want hats as well or anything else. Anything else? You know, like headbands maybe? Face Rich mask? Bands? No. <laughs> Peace!